Hi everyone, Phil from Tech for Techs here. Today we're going to be talking about one of the most important things in your computer, and that is the power supply. Without it, the computer's not going to work. If you get an unreliable one, well, it's going to go bang and potentially damage everything else inside your computer. So it's always good to have a look for a decent brand and decent rating. Today we're going to be looking at this AeroCool Aero 750 watt power supply. It's a bronze power supply, which means it's not the most economical, but it's a lot better than some out there. It's got roughly 84% efficiency at 50% load, which is a lot better than some of the ones out there which don't have any rating, which may be only 60% efficient or even potentially lower. Which obviously, the more efficient it is, the more money you save on power. If you're interested in this power supply, take a look at the links in the description below and will take you to the cheapest price available in your country. Okay, so let's have a quick look at the box. As you can see, it says AeroCool, Aero Bronze, 750 watts. It's an 80 plus bronze, which means a bronze power supply at 50% load is roughly 88% efficient. At 100% load, it is 85%, and at 20% load, it's roughly 85%, or at least that's what it has to be to be 80% or 80 plus bronze. It does say max efficiency 90%. I'm not sure what usage level that max efficiency would be there. Um, if it was at 50%, that would knock it up to gold, uh, but obviously it's not, so it must be under at some sort of load level. And it's got an active PFC as well. On the side, it tells you information on the side, pretty straightforward stuff on there, to be honest with you. You've got your different languages on that side. This side, again, even more languages. And on the bottom, it tells you about the active PFC. You've got DC to DC, and you've got black flat cables. That means all the cables in there are flat black cabling, so there's no multicolored cables or anything like that. This isn't a modular power supply, so all the cables are attached to the power supply. But again, this power supply retails for roughly 50, 60 pounds, so it's a good value in all honesty, especially with all those black cables, it being a bronze, as well as being 750 watt. You've got Japanese capacitors, you've got your solid state capacitors on there as well, and it tells you about the silent operation as well. Okay, so what's inside the box? First of all, you've got four screws to screw it into your case obviously handy power cable we've got the uk power cable in there obviously depending on where you are in the world you'll probably get a slightly different cable you've got a manual so i'm not sure what they'll be in here obviously but yeah you tells you how to install it so plug it into a wall plug it into the power supply then connect it up to your motherboard and connect it everywhere you've got a few different languages in there as well it tells you all the different bits and bobs the power supply itself has multiple different cables on it. You've got your 24 pin connection, which plugs obviously into your motherboard. You've got your power supply connectors as well. So you've got your PCI Express, there's four of those. So it's two cables with two on each, so four total. You've got your old traditional Molex connection, your four pin PATA connection. You've got four of those. You've got six of your SATA connections there. That's what you use mainly for solid state drives and stuff like that these days. And then you've also got your motherboard ones, if I can find them. It's like it. Yeah, and that's what you would um, hook up near your, usually your processor. It's got two of those connections on there. So that's four plus four uh, connections. It's two of those there. They're, again, they're on the same cable. That gives you a rough idea. So you've got all the connections you need really, potentially up to four graphics cards or two graphics cards if you were obviously using two connectors for each. So it should do pretty much what 99% of people want it to do. The actual case in itself, it tells you it's a Aero Bronze 750 uh, watts there, it tells you all the information, gives you all your voltages, currents and everything on there, and your max combined and everything off of each cable type, so that should be pretty good. 
top, nothing on there, no writing on the reverse side. On the bottom, you can obviously see the fan inside there, so it's a 12 centimeter fan by the looks of it, inside the mesh case in there. And then on the back, you've just got an on and off switch, so a standard rocker switch and where your power cable goes in. So there's not a huge amount to see. Okay, so the cable lengths on here, you're looking about 60 centimeters on the 24 pin cable and between 55 and 70 centimeters on the PCI Express with most of the other cables in the same sort of range. So it should be long enough uh, to connect up most things on your machine with ease. Uh, and again, these cables are flat black cables, so you're not gonna have to worry about multicolored cables or anything like that. But as I said, it is a, non-modular power supply so that means all the cables are connected you can't remove the cables you don't want to use so it can look a little bit of a mess if you've got nowhere to hide all these cables in your case but generally if you do your case uh, tidy and properly you should be able to hide them one way or another so let's have a look at the power ratings so i've already used this power supply on a machine to test it and so forth. It was able to run a 3070, no problems with an i7 9, sorry, an i7 10700F processor, water cooler, about three different hard drives in there, as well as a few different other bits and bobs, and it had no issues. So I can't see any problems there. So let me turn it on. And this tester basically tests the voltages, make sure the voltages coming through are as they should be. So that's turning on, so it's telling us the 5 volt line is 5 volts, exactly. The 12 volt is 12, the 3.3 is 3.3, uh, the other 12 is 12, the 5 is, well, believe it or not, 5. So that means that all the voltages and wattage and on, everything on there is working as it should be. And we get this on a lot of power supplies, there may be a slight fraction out, but this is dead on so there's no issues there so that's one of the things you get with a power supply which has got a decent rate and decent brand on there you generally find the stats are pretty good and you shouldn't have any issues if your voltages are out it can cause unstable machines can cause you crashing and it can even cause damage to components. And especially if you're interested in overclocking, it means that you potentially could overclock better with a more stable power supply. And again, this is a bronze power supply, which means it is up to 88%, 88% um, efficient. Uh, it does say 90 on the box, so there might be one or two slight things above the bronze rating, but generally 88% is a bronze rating, and that's what this is.